What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to your back again once again. And today, today we are here for episode number 77 of our brand new Pokemon Violet Let's Play here on the channel. In the last episode, you guys, in the last episode, oh my goodness, I can't even begin to tell you what happened in the last episode. We took on top champion Gita. We took on Pneumonia once and for all. Director Clavel tried to pull some sneaky plot twist with us, and we wasn't having it. No, 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 no. If you missed out on the last episode, definitely make sure you go back and check it out. In today's episode, however, we have some things planned. I know we have some things to do, but we have some things planned. I have to update you guys on a lot of things that have gone on. So, if you guys are hyped for some more Pokemon Violet, and of course, we'd like to show you support as a prominent of the Nappy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Now, I'm going to give you a quick team recap. <laughs> just because we have a team of monsters, a team of champions, uh, can I just say it's a beautiful day to wake up and play some Pokemon Violet as the newest champion. Mm, mm, mm. And speaking of champions, look at this team of champions we have here. Skeleturge, our boy from day one at level 61, holding them wise glasses. Big Mama back, Scalibur at 59, holding that muscle band. Tink a ton, our oh girl at level 59, holding the leftovers. Esparta at level 60, holding the expert belt. Our hero, Palafin, at level 60, holding that life orb. And Garganical, the wall that does not fall at level 61 with the quick claw. Now, I'm sure you may have noticed by now. There are two Skeledurges <laughs> chilling here on the screen, and there are two trainers here. Um, yes, the other trainer is, in fact, Hector. That is the one and only Muddy Gums. You can't see his name. It's behind my camera right now. Um, but that is the one and only Muddy Gums. Unfortunately, he's not here with us. He's at work right now. But we have waited long enough. We have done a lot of different things uh, storyline-wise over the past couple episodes, and I feel like... Uh, my little nappy heart is screaming that we are neglecting our living decks. And it has been long enough that we have waited for these Scarlet exclusives to be welcomed into our game. And last night, I did go ahead and actually get the all of these Scarlet exclusives in Hector's game. I mean, minus, like, Coridon. I mean, I don't know if there's anything else that we haven't seen yet, like any sort of legends. I don't know what's going to go down in the Great Crater of Paldea. <laughs> I'm guessing that's the Poco Path Lighthouse because his dad is Turo. But anyways, later. Um, so up to this point, I'm very excited because this should thoroughly fill out our decks once we get these mons swapped over. And, you know, I thought about doing the whole thing like where we go into his game and go catch it ourselves. But we pretty much had almost all the mons and I was like, no, I'm... Don't feel like going and catching them again because let me tell you fucking stunky and skun tank and the most annoying shit in the world trying capture they have explosion and memento you get one turn if that quick ball doesn't work boom gone maddening um but before we get to trading i did so much last night for our living decks so so much i went through it these are the mods that we have remaining to evolve today with uh, the aid of Hector. We're gonna get our Living Dex Palafin. We're also going to trade and get a Slow King. I almost completely forgot about it. We're gonna get this Larvesta evolved finally. We're gonna get this Deerling form evolved as well. Impidimp needs to evolve because we have Morgrim, but we don't have a Grim Snarl. The fucking Mask Grain, we were talking about that for the longest time. We need to get that evolved. And then we need Hatena to evolve into whatever the fuck it is to get a Hatterene. <laughs> so we're going to get all those evolved today. Um, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, so I have to show you these things in order. And outside of the Pokemon League, I did a little bit of hard work. See, look, this is everything we're trading to Hector. And yes, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to get, did you notice I changed the box? Box 24, box 23, and I, I had to stop after a while. I was like, oh my God, how many, like, I have to be able to get it after this. So we have almost two and a half boxes of Tandem Mouse. At some point or another, yes, we are going to get that three form Tandem Mouse. If it's the last fucking thing I do, Ah, uh, but what's crazy is after this, we have to do this all over again with Dunsparce. But that should be a little bit easier, at least, don't you think? Because all we need is just teaching the move. I mean, it might be a little more monotonous and like, oh, God, I have to go and relearn on the move over and over again. I don't know. We'll see. But we're focusing on one thing at a time. We got the three form tandem mouse coming next. We'll, we'll worry about the three segment, the Dunsparce, later as well. 
So we're gonna get those swapped over, we're gonna get these traded out, and uh, the plan that I have for these mouse hold that don't end up being uh, the three family, if they become four family, we are going to probably have a surprise trade episode towards the end where I just want to see what can we get? Can we fill anything else out in the living decks? Can we get anything else that we're missing? Etc. 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 Um, speaking of the living decks as well. <laughs> did you see it? Oh, wait, it's next, it's next, it's next. Um, I did go and catch a Lady Pikachu. Like I was saying last time, I was like, what? what? Lady Pikachu, what the fuck? But I have, uh, or Lady Heracross, whatever. I got a Lady Heracross. I mean, from the jump, we had female Pyroar. We had female Oinkalone. So I don't know what I was thinking with this. I don't know, we should just get it. We got a uh, female Hippowdon as well. Maybe we should just make a box for just the, the lady variants chilling back here, max and relax and all cool. I have this nefarious plan. Look, Lady and Dee Dee down here too. I have this nefarious plan. I'm gonna steal Hector's whooper. Ah! Shh, don't tell anybody, don't tell anybody. I'm gonna get Hector's whooper because he, he runs around the game and he doesn't he doesn't talk to everybody. He doesn't click on shit. He didn't even know the fucking whoopers in this game. I'm just gonna <laughs> Just because they only give you one, right? So maybe, mayhaps. I don't remember where we got. Oh, that was fucking Salvatore gave us this Meowth, right? Because he evolves into Perserker. I'm not gonna finagle it, but I'm gonna tell Hector. I'm gonna be like, Hector, come on. You're not gonna use these. Let me just snag these real quick. He already made the Cascarafa, so we could snag that whoop right now. <laughs> uh, I mean, at the very least, I'd be like, Hector, yo, let me have this until I finish the LP. When I'm done with the LP, I'll trade it back to you. <laughs> it's so funny because he'll 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 say things like like I asked him, I was like, yo, I need you to get me one of each of these, and he's like, and what about me? I said, okay, you get one, <laughs> you get one of each of yours if you want. <laughs> I just need you to get me three of these, <laughs> and what about me? Oh, uh, I can't help you with that, bro. They're in your game. Um, but anyways, <clears throat> um. Yeah, we're, I, I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, we could probably snag one of each of these from... <gasps> what if in Scarlet they give you something different? Wow. Gotta get Dusk Form Lycanroc as well. Um, I forgot a couple episodes, episodes ago, I ran right into one. And turned around and walked away from it. Didn't even put two thoughts into it. And someone left a comment talking about Dusk Form Lycanroc. And I was like, fuck, you're right. That That's what that was. I haven't seen it in so long, it didn't even register. But course I went to go look for that couldn't find it so that's I think is the only form that we're missing at the moment that we need to snag but the other thing that I did was I did a little teeny tiny bit of surprise trading I don't know it was like I was on like the edge of my seat it was a real thrill ride I was like oh my god what am I gonna get I hope nothing pops up that would be registered I mean I wouldn't I'd be kind of pissed. It'd be like the Gimme Ghoul thing, you know, like we've caught every single Gimme Ghoul that we've had so far, but like it's not that big of a deal if we don't catch them all, um, especially once we miss one. And that's kind of how I felt about the register thing. Like we've seen every single register one so far on screen. I'd be so sad if I got something off surprise trade that I didn't have registered yet. But luckily for us, I did a couple surprise trades last night and I got three very very juicy Pokemon if you saw one already we did get a Charmander it's a Japanese Charmander I saw it pop up and I was like oh, oh my god oh my god look at that um but oddly enough if you notice Charmander like I said he wasn't registered in the decks he doesn't have a dex number and it, nothing popped up it didn't say register none of that so I don't know technically we didn't miss a single registered but it's a new mon but I need two more, so we gotta keep the, the, hopefully the boxes of mouse holds will get us two more Charmanders. But yeah, so I was so excited and so happy to get a Charmander. Cause I mean, at least if we get one, I can evolve it. We could uh, breed it and get some eggs and get a few more, but at least we got one. And I don't know how this happened. The other two mons that I got, you know, again, I was so scared about something that was registered popping up, but luckily for us, I got not one, but two Mons that I needed that we've already registered. I got two Fuego Goes on Surprise Trade! I was like, what? 
So I traded three mons, right? I got the Charmander. I think I got think I got this Foy Coco first, and then I got the Charmander, and then I have one other extra mon or whatever it was um, as I was going through my living decks. Uh, one extra mon that normally I just released, but I wanted to trade it off, and I got another Foy Coco. It's a Japanese Foy Coco. Like, what the fuck? Wait, is that Japanese? I don't think that's Japanese. Either way. I was, I thought, like, oh my god, I'm so lucky right now, like, I need one more Fue Coco, we can, I'm sure we can get that some other time, but I was so scared that another one of the starters would pop up or something that I didn't have, and the register would come up, ah, uh, but, that is so fucking dope, I'm so happy to get both of these, like, ah, uh, you know how, like, aggravating that would have been to have had to, like, uh, Restart a game over and over and over again. <laughs> Restart a game over and over and over again just because I want to get the starters. I'll tell you right now, the start of this game is rough. Even just to the point where you can select a starter. I don't even know, is there any limit to when you can open up Union Circle and get online and start doing shit? Um, but speaking of, I'm sitting here getting ready to evolve a whole bunch of Pokemon. And what we need to do... What we need to do uh, is take advantage of this time that we have Hector here, pseudo Hector. <laughs> um, so I don't know if you actually have to do anything in specific with Finizen. I mean, I know it's level 48 or if you just have to be involved in it or whatever. Haha, -ha, look, it's out. We're doing things. I think last time we did a picnic. Hey, look, Hector's running around. We're doing things. Hey, Hector. Muddy gums. Womp, womp, womp. Okay, is that enough? <laughs> is that enough? Oh, my goodness, you guys. I made a wubble up a dub dub mistake. So, first mistake. I didn't, I completely forgot all about our vitamins and everything before we took on the Pokemon League. Whatever, I think I mentioned that before. So last night I was going through everything, like racking my brain. What have we not done? What have we not done? What have we not done? And I was looking through the bag and I saw all these mints and I was like, fuck, the adamant mint. So I slapped that adamant mint on Tinkaton, right? I did it. Finally did it. All these episodes later, I think I got that adamant mint in like episode seven. I did it, right? And her, I swear to you, her, I know I could have just clicked the button to see this, whatever. Um, I swear to you, her attack went to like 136 or something like that. I showed it to Hector too. I was like, Hector, look at this. If you ever find one of these, like, tell me and then we can make your mons like super duper good. I don't want to make sure you don't use it on a mon that doesn't need it. You know, you don't realize it. Um, so I could swear her attack was like 136. So then I was going through my bag and I saw, I don't remember what it was, like a brave mint or something else. And it was talking about defense. And I thought, oh wow, well her special defense is pretty good. And I think at the time her defense was like 108 or something like that. So I thought, well, this jacked my attack up and the other one raised defense and lowered special attack. I was like, well, we're already burying the special attack as it is, fuck it. So then I used it and then I went back and her attack dropped from like 136 to 124. So I'm guessing that, you know, there's only so many points, I'm guessing. I'm assuming that there's only so many points that can be utilized and you can't nerf her special attack anymore. So they took the points out of attack like in an attempt to balance the defense because I used the mint. So I kind of regret using that. I wish that I would have just used the adamant mint and left it, but lesson learned. Either way, her attack still went up and her defense went up too. So not awful. I just wish that it would have just been all given to her attack. Um, but anyways, we need to, uh, in here, I think, Yo, you guys are not going to believe. I'm just going to pop this on you real quick. Is that enough? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Evolve that hooter. Oh, you know what? I should have done this for Hector 2 now that I'm thinking about it. I should have totally done this for him too. I think his team, is, he's just now getting to around level 42. Around level 40, <laughs> comma, 2. <laughs> But you know, it's funny because I'm pretty sure his Skeledirge is actually level 42, so. Ah, but okay, so we got Palafin taken care of, crossed off the list. Um, I don't know what level um, Hatterene evolves at the top of my head, but check this shit out. 
We have 68 medium experience candies. I don't even know where the fuck these came from. I don't, I don't, I don't know anything about them. Um, okay, I'm gonna hit you with this because I know that you evolved at like 22 or something like that. Soak? Fuck it up, Sirskit. Hey, you trying to take a soak in the... Uh... Oh, yeah, Sirskit got bubble bean. That's a fucking champion right there. God damn. Holy shit. Um, I'm gonna use one more on you. I think that will get the job done. Oh, no, 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 no. Not enough, not enough. I think it's 22 is when it evolves. Look at that. Agility. No, 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 we're good. You just do that thing right there. <laughs> ah, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Not only are we getting living deck stuff done today, we are also getting new mods registered. The fuck? Yo, don't let me forget to ch uh, check my Pokédex after this. I never knew Masquerade was the eyeball Pokémon. The antenna have distinctive patterns that look like eyes. When it rains, they grow heavy, making flight impossible. The eyes grow heavy. Oh, look at that! Whole page! Pow! I'll take it. Okay, so we finally got our masquerade taken care of. Um, I'm gonna give you three of these right now, buddy, because we need to get you... Oh my god, that was way too much. I forgot, you're level one. What the fuck? I probably could have gotten away with one of those. Uh, oh well. Fuck it up. I don't think I've ever had one of these sessions where I was <laughs> doling out experience candies and did it right the whole way through. But at the same time, are we good? We got 60 of these motherfuckers. Go ahead, learn your incinerate, dog. Learn your incinerate. Get rid of this tackle. Learn your incinerate. You can scorch that sweet that you got. Yawn? I forgot even having yawn. Get ready. Give it a round. We're, we're making you devilish, buddy. Snarl? Bro, 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 bro. Check it out, dog. We are not in need of this much right now. And watch when he evolves, he's going to want to learn something else. Look at this little doofy. Look at this little doofy. I miss having a fight, Coco. Oh. Ugh. He's definitely still my favorite starter. But yo, that fucking Quackwobble or whatever the fuck it's called. Yo, that is a dope fucking Pokemon. That is such a dope mon. Okay, I'm going to give you one, Hatena. Psybeam. You know, I should just... Aromatic Mist. Life do. Wow. I should just look it up. It's the only one I haven't looked up. But, you know, I did Google it the other day, and I know that it is by level up. I did see that much. But you know what? We were just talking about wasting these candies, so let's not waste these candies. No, don't, don't, don't bother with that. So we need to get you, or get the other one. Is it 28? Is it 30? It's a uh, antenna that seems like a magnemite almost. Dang, girl! I'm gonna start giving you these two at a time. Hell yeah, learn your dazzling gleam. Get rid of this disarming voice. <laughs> we don't need a disarming, a disarming voice anymore. We just dazzle and gleam. Okay, wait, hold on. Level 30, I'm gonna double check. I know I looked it up, I know I saw it was level up, but what is the actual level, Hatena? I've only used you once. 32 and then 42. Okay. We can work with that. 32 and then 42. Okay, I'm gonna give you five of these, ho. Oh, shit. Well, I guess this one's gonna be, uh, Hatterene. <laughs> uh, because the other one, we only need to take it to level 32. This one's level 34, so... Hat rim. Hat trim. The serene Pokemon. The moment this Pokemon finds someone who's emitting strong emotions, it will pummel them senseless with the braids, with its braids to silence them. So what if you're happy? And you're just really, really happy. You still gonna get your ass beat? Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Apparently, yes. No more play nice, we're brutal swinging. Apparently. Now you'll stop expressing emotions, you bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come and whoop your ass. Okay, we're gonna swap over to some large experience candies here. I'm gonna give you three of these hoes. 40? Calm mind? Hell yes! Uh, life do? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We're done with all of that. I know the, 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 the calm mind doesn't help with your brutal swinging, but 
Okay, let's see if we can finagle this. Level 41. Level 42. Close enough. Okay! Hatch Rem is evolving. I didn't even think about our old school list over here. That we're still crossing shit off on. Look at that mon. That's such a dope mon. Ever since the first time I played Pokemon Sword, I was like, damn, that mon is dope as shit. Um, okay, on this first page, Masquerade crossed off. I've been waiting to get rid of you. The silent Pokemon. Beware of forests that show no signs of living creatures within. You may have wandered into Hatterene's territory. Wow. Sounds like a new Dead by Daylight killer to me. Shit. Hey, don't you worry, Grimmsnarl. We're going to find you in here in just a moment. In just a moment. Go ahead. That moveset is kind of wild just from leveling up. But isn't she, like, super slow? Isn't she, like, a trick room sweeper or something like that? Um, okay, I'm going to give you one large experience candy. Fine, 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 fine. Let's do this all over again. You got the exact same moveset. Let's just do it again. Just do it again. Come on. Just do it again. Give you another one. How you like that? Heal pulse? No, no, no. We're not learning. Nope, nope, nope. Not another one. We're going to swap to these uh, medium candies. 31. Oh, we got Grimstar right down there, too. Oh, shit. Oh, hell yeah. This living decks. I say that like I don't remember putting him on the squad there is one good enough no you getting a small candy here there you go girl okay so we got the whole line taken care of now we got Hatena, Hatrim, and Hatterene Ooh -wee. but I know that they are on the list damn I'm scratching shit up I officially had like I stapled this bitch look look at what this list looks like now I stapled this paper and now there is another like separate piece of paper hanging off a little like, But you know what? We're taking care of this list. I'm not getting rid of it. Not yet. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hatterene taken care of. Level 30. Look, I had it written down right here. Level 32 and level 34. I mean, 42. 32 and 42. I had to look it up and I had it written down the whole time. Yucky. Brutal swing. Sure, sure, you can do it too. You can do it too, okay? You can do it too. Whew! All right, that one's taken care of. Now we gotta get this Impy Dimp up to, what is it? I don't fucking know what it's gonna be, like 42 as well. Dark Pulse. Aren't you all gonna be a big bad physical attacker, bro? I actually don't know anything about Grimstar. I, I never ended up using one. I would love to uh, slap that on the list. If we uh, do a shield nuzzle, I gotta get an Appleton, a Bear Scooter. Uh, I wanna use a Rillaboom and a Grimstar. Mm. Look at that, it just sound like a strong ass team. False Surrender? The user pretends to bow its head, but then it stabs the target with its disheveled hair. This attack never misses. It's physical. See your special attack. Oh, wow. Your special attack and your uh, physical attack are kind of funny there. Um, okay. <clears throat> so, I'm pretty sure you're evolved around level 42-ish. So, we're going to be... I mean, fuck it. Use the large candy. What am I saving them for? <laughs> like, when I think about it, like, just because I have more of the other one, like, what am I saving it for? What exactly am I saving it for? Bro, you learn Dazzling Gleam or something? Anything to support your other half over here? You know, just all dark type all the time. Okay, lit. We got him taken care of, too. What? Morgrim is evolving? Cross this empty dump right off the motherfucking lid. It's level 42 written down here, too. Look at this big beast. Your Morgrim evolved into Grim Snarl. Fuck yes. That's a dope mine. The bulk up Pokemon. It leaves it leaves it lives deep within the forest. Even after evolving into this splendid form, it hasn't given up on its petty misdeeds and pranks. 
It's like husband and wife. Pow! Look at that whole page done. Hatterene and Grimmsnarl. Spirit break. Whoa. Oh, asking you shall receive. The user attacks the target with so much force that it could break the target's spirit. This also lowers the target's special attack stat. Wow. I ain't never heard of that before. Holy shit. Oh, now look. Your attack is a lot higher than your special attack. Let's say this big, brooding, bulky bitch. You're not going to sit here and tell me you a special attacker, dog. You got Sucker Punch written all over you. Okay. So that's a whole <laughs> stack of mons, literally, that we just evolved. Uh, we need... I'm going to... You can actually just chill right here, bro. Um, I went to... I had to go to Mesa Gosa, the Deli Bird Presence in Mesa Gosa to get the King's Rock. So these two we need to evolve as well. But I'm going to take care of these people real quick. Like, uh, we are 292 and what, 284? Close enough. I don't know if we're ever going to get a slot where I can put both these mons down. I got to stop carrying them like this. Like, I know Volcarona goes here. Oh, we do have a slot. Oh, shit. Oh, it's Hatterene. Lit. Okay, so Palafin. Thank you. Look at this. Finn is in Palafin. Cool, I guess. He's just got the heart on his chest. I guess. It's cool. I like it. I mean, I like the hero form a lot better, but, you know, I was really hoping his name would change. <laughs> Not that I have any issue with that, but I didn't they do that in past games. Like, if you evolve them. If you uh, wonder traded a mon from a different region and you evolved it, it would its official name would be the region that you're in, but not that big of a deal. Still works for me. Still works for me. Alright, Masquerine, forgot all about you. Number 50. Pow! Look at that, a whole page! I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it! Wait, how many pages can we go? Well, we missed the first one, so never mind. And we're missing the fucking slack off. Oh my god. Son of a bitch. Fucking slack off. We gotta get him. Okay, hold on. I know Muddy Gums, I know you're still chilling here. I know you're still chilling here. Ha ha ha. Muddy, 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 muddy. Um, but we need to. Yo, we gotta get you to like 59. I'm gonna give you all six of these. Still didn't even get you there. Oh my god, he's gonna learn so many moves all at once. Leech Life? No, thank you. That's it? That's all you learned? <laughs> I'm gonna give you 10 medium candies to 44. Bug Buzz? Oh, hell yes! You can learn that shit. That's what we talk about right there. That's the type of shit we talk about right there, Larvest. And I know Screech. Get the fuck out of here. Um, Alright, I'm gonna give you another 10. Level 48. Oh my goodness. No, no, thank you. We're gonna give you another 10. Level 51. Bro, do, are we even going to have enough? Level 54. <gasps> uh, you know what I'm going to do real quick? Hold up. Let me see how many. We have enough rare candies to level him up. I think he evolves level 59. Okay. I think that worked out pretty well. What? Like Vesta is evolving? Ah, uh, damn! Larvesta level 59. Hoo hoo hoo! this sauce buck off too. Look at this beautiful Pokemon. Ever since I laid eyes on it. And I love how they gave him that metallic sheen too on his bottom side. Ooh, look at that. What a dope fucking Pokemon. Volcarona! Volca fucking Rona! The sun Pokemon. This Pokemon scatters burning scales. Most of the danger of these scales is not in their heat. It's in the way they rob the surrounding air of oxygen. That's a badass fucking Pokemon. Pokemon Pokedex description. This Pokemon scatters burning scales. Most of the danger of these scales is not in their heat. It's in the way they rob the surrounding air of oxygen. Well, hold on, time out. That would either imply that A, they're burning for such a long time that if you're in the vicinity for a while, it, you'll be lightheaded or whatever. There's not enough oxygen. Or there is danger in the heat because it is burning so hot that it is robbing the air, of, <laughs> the surrounding air of oxygen. But regardless, still a dope fucking Pokedex entry. Pa, pa, pa. A whole page too. Yes, learn that quiver dance. Please, please, please get rid of that bug bite. You will never have to bite nobody ever again. Look at that. You are the sun Pokemon. You are a literal deity. 
Just gotta gas my Volcarona there, you know? Let it know. Let it know what it is, though. Hey, but we are tapped out <laughs> when it comes to experience candies, when it comes to rare candies. Um, so what it, what level does Saw's Buck evolve? Is it 34? All right, we getting you to 34. You gonna have all eight. Oh boy, are we actually gonna get you to 34? Are we? <laughs> are we gonna not have enough to get this dearly? After all this time, yo, you can have all 20 of these. It's not enough. No. Oh, damn. That goes to that, uh, uh, that Crocolore. If we wouldn't have messed up those, damn, right there, too. Fuck. One mod away. It's okay. We'll get what we need. We'll get what we need eventually. Um, so let's get the squadron back up here. Get the Volcarona placed where we need to place it. Go ahead, Tinkaton. Do your thing, girl. Do your thing. Do your thing, girl. Do your thing. Do your thing, girl. Do your thing. Ugh. <sighs> All right. We got that taken care of. Number 275. I was stressing about this one for the longest time. I don't know if Volcarona does spawn anywhere. I haven't seen it yet, but it doesn't matter. We got it taken care of. Whole fucking page done. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. And you know, I was thinking about the VIP section and uh, I forgot all about little Cyclozar down here. We did utilize him. Look at that move set stacked up, ready to go. So I got to get another Cyclozar too. Next time I see it. And if I get a Cyclozar, I got to get another fucking Palm Ot because we used him too. Why not? It's all VIP. It's all VIP. It's all VIP. Um, anyways. So yes, I believe we are taken care of here so far. Um, and now it is time we have to trade. I'm going to do the, whatchamacallit first, the Slowpoke first, because he will be taken care of, and then we can go to the other box. So now we got to trade because we still have more Mons with our fucking names on it. <laughs> ah, yo, okay, so I got to figure dig this out. Let's see here. Can we do a link trade, please? Please and thank you. I'm gonna set the code as on to trace quattro link trade. One, two, three, four. Oh, begin searching. <laughs> searching for a trade partner, begin searching. A trade partner has been found. Oh my god! <laughs> it always makes me so nervous using like one, two, three, four because it's like, what if I link up with somebody else? Like, what the fuck? Yo, and I really do hope that I'm like, I don't know why I'm second guessing myself now, but I'm second guessing that um <laughs> this is how you evolve slow king. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, I think so, let's go, 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 communicate faster, are you translating, <laughs> from English to Paldean, mmm, goodbye slowpoke, oh, I should have swapped the switches, I bet you I could do it real quick, the TV would just go out, or the screen would just go out. Click, click. But you know what? Check it out. He sent over. Take good care of Slowpoke. Dang, I really did forgot to swap the switches. Like it did last time. But peep it. Peep it. Actually, no. We swapping switches. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, I'm not even going to cut. I'm not even going to edit it out either. Check it out. Watch what happens here. Eh. Eh. Oh my god, where did the game go? What's going on? Holy frick! Oh wait, I have to take this out though. Yeah. And just like that, we are in the magical world of Muddy Gums! <laughs> well, we, well, we! And we still get to see the evolution. Slowpoke evolved into Slowking, the royal Pokemon. When its head was bitten, toxins entered Slowpoke's head and unlocked an extraordinary power. 
What? Pow! Yeah, that Pokédex don't look like ours, but you know, whatever it is, it's, it's, it's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we trade it back. We trade it back. Trade it. Trade it. Trade it. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Communicate as much as you need. Do what you got to do. Hold on. Because <laughs> now it's coming back to us. Now it's coming back to us. And now we need it. Oh, quick. Oh, quick. Hector fucking loves Gyarados. But I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't? Gyarados is such a dope ass Pokemon. But it was so funny. I was sitting next to him on the couch the first time he saw a Gyarados. And he was like, oh! Oh my god, look! It's a Gyarados! It's so fucking cool! I was like, yeah, hell yeah, yes, it's a Gyarados, fuck yeah. But, registered! Fuck yes! Oh, I didn't even read the description, fuck! It's an incredible mutation, I saw that. We could have seen the scarlet and the violet one. No, 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 no. I was gonna, I was ready to move him to the PC. And you know what I just realized? We ran out of all that is, all those experience candies. And we're gonna have to use experience candies on some of the mons that Hector is sending us. Because, like, I'm pretty sure that we have, like, we <laughs> just have three Larvitar, <laughs> three Dano. Uh, we have two Skrelp, two Drifloon. So, might need to, even though we're getting these mons now, might need to have a little, uh, uh another little living deck session where we evolve them but okay up first we have these are in pokedex order by the way but we are trading him a mischievous for a drifloon so mischievous and miss magius are violet exclusives and drifloon and drift blim are scarlet exclusives it's so funny like i wrote it down and like still i want to know like what what made them decide to come up with this list of exclusives? Like, how how did you come up with this? Like, Larvitar, Pupitar, Tyranitar. Because, like, the way I think about it is, like... Oh, well, I mean, I guess, you know what? Never mind. I guess, I guess the exclusives is easier. Because what I was going to say is... Like, let's say they have the full list of 400 mons, right? Like, there has to be some thought put into that. Put a pin in that. The balloon Pokemon, because of the way it floats aimlessly, an old folktale calls it a signpost for wandering spirits. Wow. Wow. Slap that bitch in there. Okay, we gotta evolve that Drifloon to get the next one. <laughs> Alright, I got a Miss Maggie is for you, Hector. Um, he's sending us another Drifloon. But anyways, um back to what i was saying you know like let's say you have the original list of 400 right um and let's say you're only going to choose these 400 pokemon you would have to take into consideration like the strengths of all the pokemon the typings of all the pokemon the moves available to all the pokemon you know to some degree because you don't want to make a game where there is just uh a bunch of trash mons or a bunch of overpowered mons, or a bunch of this or that. You know, there has to be balance is what I'm getting to. You know, there has to be a lot of mons that people like as well, because if you're gonna play the game, you know, um, if you're gonna sit down and play the game, you want your favorite Pokemon to be included in the game, right? Um, and I know that sometimes it doesn't always work that way. <laughs> I know that sometimes it doesn't always work that way, and it's like, what the fuck? How come my favorite Pokemon isn't in the game? But either way. The whole point I was making with that was balancing, but I was thinking about that in regards to version exclusives, but it doesn't matter because the whole point in having version exclusives is not about balancing, it's more about getting you to get all the Pokemon or both games. Um, which is why they conveniently sell a double pack! <laughs> which, you know that Pokeball code that came with our double pack? Uh, we used it at the start of this LP and then immediately started using every other type of Pokeball. Just now, when I caught all those mouse holes, they were like level 7. I was chucking Pokeball after Pokeball after Pokeball after Pokeball. We finally burned through those fucking 100 Pokeballs we got at the start of the fucking series. Stunky, the skunk Pokemon. The foul fluid from its rear is so revolting that it can make people feel queasy up to a mile and a quarter away. That's impressive. <laughs> You choose your adjectives, and I'll choose mine. <laughs> Alright. 
so we actually don't have to evolve this one. I got lucky. As annoying as it was uh, to catch these two, I did get a fucking skun tank. So can't be mad at that. Uh, but yes, I feel like there has to be some sort of balancing put into the game. Um, but I was going to say, my original point was I wonder how they end up deciding like which mons are going to be exclusive and which mons aren't. Like, they just randomly? Because I was like I was naming Bagon, Shellgon, Salamence. Larvitar, Pupitar, Tyranitar. Okay, well, you have a Rock and Rock Dark, but it's equivalent in the other game is Dragon, Dragon Flying. So you, then you have Drifloom, Drifloom, Mischievous, Miss Maggie, you have Ghost, and then Ghost Flying. Not that I think it's that deep or anything, because like I said, at the end of the day, you have the entire decks of all 400. You know, they wouldn't include both of these Ghost types, and I don't think there's any difference between them. I think they just made them exclusive because they're Ghost type, you know? They just had to pair it with something. Anyways. Skunk Tank! The Skunk Pokemon. <laughs> it attacks by spraying a repugnant fluid from its tail, but the stench dulls after a few scores. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Damn, is that a full page? Pow! I'll take it. And looky, looky what we have next here. Looky, looky what we have next here. Oh, we. So we are holding a malicious armor and Hector's target is holding the auspicious armor. Ho, ho, ho. It's holding the auspicious armor. So I have seen like little glints of the Scarlet Evolution of Char Char, Char Cadet. But I've never actually like looked at it, looked at it before. So I know, I think it just looks like a, a bigger version of Char Cadet, right? Like I think Cerule Edge is a little bit cooler. But we can we can evolve you here in a minute. Though. Speaking of Bagon and Larvitar, come on, come on, come on! Bring that ass over here! Oh, I thought this was a dragon. I was like, wait, how is Larvitar a dragon? <laughs> Like, I get it, his terror typing can be dragon, but Larvitar is not a dragon. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, okay, so on this back page, we still have Sawsbuck and Chipped Pot <laughs> Pulte Geist to snag. And on our front page, we... Oh, we got two Drifloon already. Snagged, snagged, snagged. We got the Mousehole variant. We got Slack off. we're still waiting on. Lots of shit. Ooh, wee! But I think we are well on our way. Oh, Larvitar. It is born deep underground. It can't emerge until it has entirely consumed the soil around it. Oh, all right. <laughs> Get your ass back down there. Keep eating that dirt. <laughs> all right. Up next, we have... Oh, Shogun. Isn't that like so full circle? Like when we were outside of Alfornada... Was that where we were and we found the shell gun? I was like, oh, I gotta catch this for Hector. Now look, here we are, trading it to Hector. Ah, imagine. <laughs> Who would have thought? Look at us now. Look at us now. But we can get rid of this, the version exclusives. Uh, I mean, like I said, unless there's some I haven't seen or uh, the box art legend, we have pretty much, after this, we will have all of the version exclusives taken care of. Woo -woo. Um, so, we got a, another Shelgon here. We didn't get a Pupitar Dex description, but we getting a Pupitar. Just wait on it. A Pupitar. Just wait on it. So, we got the Gibble song, the Pupitar song. <laughs> We're gonna have one for every pseudo here soon enough. This is where somebody has to remix Ice Punch Metagross. <laughs> I know this bitch has Ice Punch. Ice Punch! <laughs> ice Punch fucking Metagross. I'll never forget that. As long as I as long as I live, as long as I play Pokemon, I'll never fucking forget that Ice Punch. I say, watch this bitch have Ice Punch. Pow! Gone. Fuck. Alright, who's next? Who's next? Who's next? We got that taken care of. Um... We have Dreepy. Oh. Wait, am I, am I doing this right? Did I skip over something? Malicious armor. I sent him the gold pin. Yeah, so the whole top row is taken care of. It's because 
the order that they're in in my game is not the same order that they're in in his game. So, because I put it in, oh, well, now it's 316. I was going to say, I put this in um, Pokedex number order. Um, but if we were to do this, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So we're going to do Dreepy next. And you know what? I am so, oh, so fucking jealous. So jealous. I went and caught the rest of these mons last night. In Scarlet, there is little Danos running around everywhere. What? It's like just little pooches, little dogs. I mean, I know there's already a shit ton of dogs in this game, but there's just little dogs, little Dano dragon dogs running around everywhere. And I'm like, ah, oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. But what a fucking powerful trade, right? Dreepy for Dano? Ooh. I, I fucking love Dano, Zwilus, and High Dragon. I know y'all love that, but I fucking love Dreepy, Dra Dra Cloak, and uh, Dragapult, too. I think its design is just so fucking sick. Like, it's it's so fucking dope. I could talk about it all day. Anyways, Dano, the irate Pokemon. It nests deep inside a cave. Food there is scarce, so Dano will sink its teeth into anything that moves and attempt to eat it. I wonder if a Dano has ever mistakenly bitten into a larvitar <laughs> thinking it was food all right send me that next one send me that next one send me that next one let me see what you got here show me here show me here what you doing over here buddy boy show me this day no oh wait oh wait but i do think uh they should have been swapped they should have been swapped. You know, I don't know what does a uh, shiny Dragapult look like. I don't remember off the top of my head. I know I've looked it up before. I was fucking love the mod. I'm curious, but um, shiny high dragon is purple. It has purple on it. It has purple on it. So like, why did you put it in the Scarlet game? You should have put it in the Violet game because it has purple on it. All purple Pokemon should be in the purple game. Come on now. That would be a travesty. Imagine if they made, like, Ghastly Haunter Gengar exclusive to Scarlet. Oh, then you could only get a... Well, I mean, have we seen a wild Gengar? I don't think we have. It's a trade evolution, so I would imagine it wouldn't just spawn in the wild. Maybe you can get it to spawn. Maybe with the sandwich or something. I don't know. But uh, I haven't seen one yet, but could you imagine? Oh, my God. But that would suck, because the only way you could get a Gengar would be to trade it to Violet. So never mind. That makes sense. That makes sense. Only way you could have Gengar is in Violet. Wouldn't it be some shit if they made it where you could only evolve a Pokemon by trading it to a certain game? Or like a certain Pokemon was only available in a certain game? Like you could, like if you could, like it's Pokemon Go, like you can't trade a mom more than once. And you traded your Gengar over to Violet and that was it. You couldn't get it back. That would suck. Um, okay, so all these mons are new. We got the Auspicious Armor. <laughs> Looks like I don't recognize you. I don't recognize you. I don't recognize you. But, Director Clavel trying to fuck up my Pokédex, I don't think so, bitch. Because in the very next episode, check it out, we got ourselves an all Frank guru. Doom, 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 doom. I felt kind of bad. I was playing Hector's game, catching these mods, and I had to go to some areas that he hadn't hasn't been to yet. Um, like the uh, Stunky and stun Skun Tank. I want to say Stun Tank all the time. The Stunky and the Skun Tank, they are at Casaroya Lake. And it was funny because that list I had it written down, I was sitting there thinking, like, I was trying to, I didn't want to look up where do you find this mod at? Where do you find this mod? I was trying to find it on my own, and I was so proud. I was like, yes, I guess Casaroya Lake, and there it was. I don't remember. I think it was because um, it was paired with Gulpin and Swalot, and I remember Gulpin and Swalot being up there. So I went up there, and I saw it. I was like, ah, look at that. I was right. Wow. Ranguru, Sage Pokemon. This Pokemon lives quietly in the depths of the forest. The purple cape-like fur gets longer and longer as Oranguru ages. <laughs> Pow! Slap that shit in a box. All right, up next we have Ice Q and Stonejourner. Stonejourner? Stonejourner? I have to say, I do remember a Stonejourner from Sword and Shield, but I never got the chance to encounter one, never got the chance to use one, so I don't know shit about this Pokemon. This is a brand new Pokemon to me. It's just like with Ice Q, I thought that was a new Mon too, and everybody's like, nah, Nappy, you just didn't play far enough in the DLC. Whoops. 
Maybe I'll do like one big episode <laughs> finishing all of our original sword playthrough, all of the DLC, because I think we were almost done. We were looking for Diglets or something like that in the first DLC. I know we never started the second one. But either way, I mean, it's not like I didn't have fun playing the game. I was just burnt out, but it's a different story for a different time. Stone Journer, the big rock Pokemon. This Pokemon spends its life gazing at the setting sun. It strides leisurely around grassy plains on legs of rock that weigh over 400 pounds each. But uh, Sword and Shield was based in uh, the UK, right? So that's supposed to be like Stonehenge, a Pokemon based off Stonehenge. How claw! Cool. It's just so claw. Cool. But all right, our last two trades here. Um, but I have a confession to make about the Stone Journer. So I went to, like I said, I was looking around trying to figure it out on my own. And I was looking at the map and I went over to the Team Star fighting base because I thought maybe it'll spawn over here. Um, I went really far north thinking maybe it'll be up there in the plains stomping around whatever so I finally looked it up and it said it's in the Asado Desert which I thought you know honestly it probably would have been my next guess uh, I was thinking maybe over by Zafa Pico by the lurking steel titan it would be over there but no it's in the Asado Desert the mock kelp Pokemon this Pokemon is a poor swimmer if it's caught in a fierce storm it will sometimes get washed far away and become unable to return to its home wow Pow! Didn't find a wild Dragalge though, so we're gonna have to evolve a Skrelp as well. That's okay. We get experience candies all the time. Not a problem. Not a problem, not a problem, not a problem. Can I take my midterms and my finals again? <laughs> Need a couple more. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, so I went over to the Asado Desert in Hector's game to catch the Stone Journer. And wouldn't you know, Hector had not done the Quaking Earth Titan yet. And Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I could not believe my eyes when I rode over there, because you know it's like massive before you battle it, right? Why the fuck did we get this fucking Sherman tank robo fucking... What? Look at this. Look at this bitch. Why do we get this? You know, I'm, I'm being mean to him. I'm being very mean. <laughs> you are very nice and unique in your own way, Mr. Iron Treads. But the other one is Scarlet! That motherfucker's dope as shit! That motherfucker's horns are huge! Huge! I want an elephant that is just mighty. Like, I want it to be, like, base 900 stats. Like, everything perfect, great. I want to just give me Ganesh in Pokemon. <laughs> like, I know we have Copper Raja, but even Copper Raja, like, his, uh... It's like, uh, where he at? Where he at? I know I'm going off on a, on a, on a, on a tangent here. But I fucking love elephants. They're my favorite animal. Like, literally my favorite animal. Everything, everywhere around me is elephant, elephant, elephant. On the fucking window back here, I got an elephant hanging up. I can't find the goddamn Kaparaja. But, uh, like, I love Kaparaja, but look at how tiny his fucking tusks are. Like, come on. What, why, why can't, why is it so hard to just make an elephant? Like, I know all elephants don't have super big tusks and this and that. And I said, why is it so hard to make an elephant? There's an elephant on the screen. But, you know, like, I want, like, uh, I've been saying it forever, I want a starter. Whenever, whenever you're the Game Freak, whenever y'all do Africa, the water starter better be a fucking elephant. And, you know what, I'm down for water ground, water grass, whatever. Make him an elephant and do it right. Like, I want a nice little baby elephant, then I want a, a decent sized elephant, the middle elephant, and then the final one, he needs to be, like, ready to fucking go, ready to stomp people out. That's what I'm talking about. Anyways, <laughs> that's just, you know, a little personal thing of mine. I wish I could do. I wish it was in the game. I'm sure everybody wishes they had a certain mod. <laughs> okay, so we don't have anything. I didn't save any. Oh, poor thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, no way. I don't even need that. Never mind. I was going to say, I'm so mad I didn't save anything. I can't even evolve uh, whatchamacallit. But we need to slap these into the proper place here. Wait a minute. We're on 326. Okay. I don't know what fucking number this is. I think you're right here. Pow! 325, 326. Slow King taken care of. Who? We? Boy. 
Uh, and then, I guess the Hector Suite is closed now. Because <laughs> once we move these to their places, we're, we won't need it anymore. But we can't actually move these to their places yet. I'm going to keep these in the... Which one's the higher level one? 37. Um, this is what I'm going to do. The higher level one of these... Because we're going to have to evolve them, and there's no point in me putting them. There's no point in me putting them all the way in the decks and finding the spot for them if I'm just going to have to come and pull them out again. So those can go back. This one, you're going to stay here. These can go back as well. The Charcadet, we're going to take care of. We're gonna need to evolve one of yous, but you can go back. Everybody else here can go back. But what we're gonna do real quick, like, ooh hoo hoo hoo! Don't you wish it was daytime? I mean, I know we've been here for 17 years, but don't you wish it was daytime? Hold on, Hector. I will uh, be right back. But you know, I learned how to do this now. So we're going to make sure we get this done right. <laughs> so if I'm not mistaken, I can... No, 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 no. I'm going to put away held item, the auspicious armor. And then if I go over to here and use it, I don't have to level them up. Let's get another mod added to the decks. Young Chalkadet. I changed my phone case too. I don't know if you guys know this. Oh! Why do I think like Rome immediately? Why is that the first thing that comes to mind? Like the big shoulder pads? I don't know. The armor? Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge. Wow. What, is, what the fuck is he? Is he. So wait. So Rule Edge is. Fire Ghost? So he's going to be fire. I, I want to see the two of them together. Whoa, what a dope mom, though. What a dope fucking mom. The fire warrior. Fire psychic? We were fire ghost, fire psychic? Wow, I thought for real it would be like fire fighting. He 100% looks like a fighting type. What the fuck? You put Blaziken in a suit of armor. I know you did. This Pokemon clads itself in armor that has been fortified by psychic and fire energy. And it shoots blazing fireballs. Okay, listen. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all gotta see it right here. Listen, they made this mod because they knew everybody would lose their shit over it. Just like everybody lost their shit over Cerule Edge. They didn't even try with that Pokedex description. They did not even try. Do not fall for that. They didn't even try. This Pokemon clads itself in armor. No shit. Its name is Armor Rouge. That has been fortified by psychic and fire energy. No shit. It says it right there. And it shoots blazing fireballs. Well, I hope it could. It's a fire type. The fuck? <laughs> you didn't tell me anything about this Pokemon. Pow! Put him in there. Yeah, but that's that's so that's so weird though. I think that's so weird. So don't get me wrong. I like the mon. I like the mon. I like the mon. He's a dope fucking Pokemon. I like the mon. Get rid of the fire spin, bro. You don't need it. <laughs> Only offensive fire type move. You don't need it. I like the mon. I do. I like Armor Rouge. I think I like Cerule Edge a bit more. But I really like Armor Rouge. He's dope. He's dope. He looks big and bulky and ready to go. You know, he's out here so he's fire psychic what did he just learn i want to see your uh so he's the special attacker cerule edge is the physical attacker but you know armor rouge looks like char cadet's evolution and cerule edge kind of looks like they were just like yo we need a purple one we need a purple version let's do this real quick come on come on come on slap him in the game but either way, he's dope. I like him. If we had played Scarlet first, uh, being Fire Psychic, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what his, uh, if I would have chosen Skeletor. I mean, if we would have chosen either of the other starters, we probably would have gone with either Armor Rouge or Cerule Edge, but it is what it is, so. Either way, I'm gonna get these guys put up and put away. I think we're gonna wrap up today's episode here. A whole episode of just living decks greatness. If you guys enjoyed today's episode of Pokemon Violet, of course, if you'd like to show your support as a private of the Happy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Big shout out to Hector for being here, even though he's not, but shout out to him for catching mons for us, helping us with the living decks. 
until we see each other again, thank you so much for your love and light. And be safe. I'm out this bitch. Bye.